Good afternoon, everyone, or good morning, or good evening, or whenever it is you're watching this. Uh, right here in Buffalo, New York, it's uh, the afternoon, and I am Mike the Mog Builder Guy from Learning About WordPress. And in past videos, I've, I've mentioned the, uh, the WP config file. Uh, the WP config file is without a doubt one of the most important files in the WordPress file system. Uh, this file needs is needed to connect to the database and to set various preferences and allow custom settings. Without the WP config file, you have no WordPress. And within the WP config file, you can change settings and add more layers of security to your site. And you can also edit this file to add more functionality to the site as well. And you recall in previous uh, videos, we went into the WP config file and we changed the database prefix table name and we also changed the security keys. So, if some hacker can get access to the WP config file, they can do major damage to your site. Now, having said that, it becomes imperative that we protect the WP config file, and that's what I'm going to show you how to do in this video. So, as always, we will be at our HostGator control panel, and I'm going to scroll down to the file manager. I'm going to click on that. Now, the site I'm working with is right here. Now, it's important to know that over here, you'll see show hidden files, dot files. Uh, for what we're going to do today, we're going to be accessing the dot ht access file, and that is a hidden file so we need to make sure that that box is checked now we're going to click go and we're going to look down and right here we see the ht access file and again you know at the very beginning of it it's got a dot so what we're going to do is we're going to click on it we're going to come up here and click the code editor and that'll ask us to edit and it opens it up. Now, word of warning, big warning. See this code right here? If for some reason you happen to delete this code or change it or in any way, you know, corrupt it, your WordPress site will go down hard. And the only way to correct that is to fix the code. So what I always suggest is to take this code, copy it, and put it in a safe place until you're done editing the HT access file. So I've already done that and I've saved it somewhere else. So what we're going to do now is we're going to add some code here that will allow no one into your WP config file except for you. So I'm going to paste in some code right here at the bottom you know I'll put my cursor here at the end of WordPress hit enter a couple times and I'm going to paste the code in now this code will be available on a separate page in my website where I'll have it listed with other various code that we're gonna need now you can see here it says files telling you that we're going to be protecting the WP config file All right. And it's going to ask us do we want to allow or deny access and we are going to deny from all and then here we're just closing out the file we open the file here and we close it out here so what this does is allow does not allow anyone but you to access the WP config file all right and then what we would do we would go up here and click save changes and at that point, the WP config file is safe. Well, now protecting the WP config file is, you know, all well and good. But that protection lies within the .ht access file. So what we need to do next is to protect the ht access file. And we do that with this simple bit of code, which again will be on a separate page within the website so you can access that. And again, we open up the file. This is the file we're going to be protecting, htaccess. 
again we've got the order allow and deny and we are going to deny from all again that only that means that only you will be allowed to access the HD access file all right so we've protected the WP config file which is at the heart of your WordPress blog and then we've protected the protector all right so now we're going to go up here we're going to click on save changes and that is it your WP config file and the dot HT access file are both secure and that's going to make it a whole lot harder for some evil doer hacker to get into your site and raise heck and as always at the end of the video I say if you have questions please ask me over at the Mike the blog builder guy or meet me over on Facebook at the blog builder guy so until the next video, uh, have a good day, and we will talk to you soon. Take care.